Hello and welcome to another episode of Reading Intervention with Miss Malone. You normally in the past couple of videos we've been talking about long vowels, different sounds vowels make, identifying those vowels, what they look like, all that jazz. But in today's video we're kind of going a little going on a different route, on a different um direction, and we're gonna be focusing on something called synonyms and you might know what synonyms are, um, but if not, they are essentially words that have the same meaning or similar meaning. And we use sim synonyms ugh, all the time. And so, an example of a synonym um, would be like the word smart, right? What's another way we can say smart? There's intelligent, right? Clever, right? Um, genius, something like that. So there's lots of different words that mean the same thing. And so this is for a little quick warm up so we can practice kind of thinking of the words that have the same meaning. I have two words right here that we are going to use. So here's our first one. Our first one is big. Big. What's a word that is the same as big? We have gigantic huge enormous right those are words that are the same as big then we have words let's say let's do our next one delicious a word that's the same meaning as delicious could be yummy what else tasty right tasty scrumptious stuff like that those words all mean delicious right just like how gigantic huge enormous um mammoth size <laughs> like these are all words that mean the word big they all have the same meaning so let's use this concept to practice identifying some synonyms um, with some of my practice cards. So now we know what synonyms are. Synonyms are words, all right, that have the same meaning together, right? And so first, let's try to see if we can find the words that are synonyms, all right, that are like friends, okay? We have first group, huge and tiny. Are those the same? Do they mean the same thing? Not quite. They seem pretty opposite. Let's try this one. Long and short. Do these have the same meaning? No, those are pretty opposite too. What about this? Nice and kind. Those are pretty similar, right? These are synonyms. Nice and kind can mean the same thing. So we identified which group out of the three are synonyms, or which is a, is a synonym group. Let's see if we can think of some synonyms to go along with the other groups. So let's see, we know that long is not the same as short. Okay, and we know that, let's see, Tiny is not the same as huge. Let's see if we can think of synonyms for those two words. What's the synonym for tiny? Small is a good one. What's the synonym for short? This might be a hard one. Hmm, what about stumpy? Like stumpy? <laughs> that works, right? So synonyms mean the same thing, okay? That means that those two words have the same meaning. Great job, guys. Welcome to the challenge of the day. Y'all are doing such a wonderful job. Let's see if we can use the skill that we practice today, synonyms, to figure out some, syn some um, ways we can use synonyms in our writing and in our reading. We're going to do this today by looking for the underlined word and thinking of a synonym for that word. 
the was full from breakfast. So full is the word that is underlined. What's another word we can use for full instead of then instead of full? What's another word we can use instead of full? Um, let's see. He was stuffed, right? Stuffed. Her tummy was stuffed from breakfast. She was stuffed from breakfast. The meaning is still the same. Stuffed and full mean the same thing. So they are synonyms. Let's try number two. He was mad when he heard the news. Our underlined word is mad. What's another word for mad? What's a synonym for mad? Angry. What's another one? We can, we can say furious. Right? He was angry when he heard the news. He was mad when he heard the news. He was furious when he heard the news. He is mad. Those are all synonyms for the word mad. Let's try number three. The cupcakes looked delicious. What word can we use to replace the word delicious? What synonym can we use to replace the word delicious? The cupcakes looked, we can say yummy, tasty, I'm not sure if I'm going to spell this right, scrump, scrumptious, you know, right? These are all words we can use to replace the word delicious. Good job, awesome. In order to kind of practice using some synonyms in our everyday life, the word of today is gigantic. Gigantic is another way to say big. So when you want to say something is big today or you or something, use the word gigantic instead. So if you have any questions about this lesson in particular or our curriculum, please feel free to contact me. S. Malone at UpliftEducation.org and I'll be more than happy to answer y'all's questions. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for joining me today and y'all have a wonderful day.